Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Rinvas. In this session, we are going to discuss one C technical interview question as a using the pointers concept, the strings concept, and pointer arithmetic. Here, so this is the code, code, and here it is in the main function. They have given one string variable. So character pointer is nothing but is a representation of a string. We know that, and how it gets memory allocation means what? Just like a character array, and the pointer variable holds the address. Which address it holds means what? The base address of the string. So here, it gets memory allocation. It gets memory allocation. And the last character is of course null. The base address is just considered thousand. Thousand, and here it is a string variable is holding the value is thousand is pointing to this one. Next location thousand and one two three four five six seven eight. The reason why the character occupies only one byte, only one byte. So the location size, a character location size is a only one byte. Only one byte is a character location size. This is the one. And now, so we are executing one by one, one by one. Is the instructions we are executing? The first one, first one here is a pointer. Pointer str so minus minus plus two plus one minus three. So now execution of this one. Execution. How it executes? We know that. Is a parenthesis having highest priority, and here it is a post decrement and post increments, pre decrements and pre decrements like modify operators execute first. But here it is a post decrement, right? So it will substitute the value thousand, but the value is decreased by one nine ninety nine. Sir, why it is decreased by one? It's a pointer, na? Yes, but here it is the character size is a one byte. So according to the pointer arithmetic concept, it's decreased by only one. So here thousand plus two plus two plus one is a pointer minus three. Now the thousand and two thousand and two plus one pointer minus three. So what is that? Here it is a thousand and two plus one is increased by one only. Is nothing but thousand and three is a pointer two thousand and three. Minus three. The pointer two thousand and three means what? It's e. It is e. The e minus three. So what is the value? Observe here. The alphabets a, b, c, d, e, f. E minus three means what? E minus three minus one minus two minus three. So result is a small b. Result is small b. So please don't think that e minus three means what is a minus one minus two minus three. It's n. No. As a ASCII values, it will be decreased. It will decrease the ASCII values. So e e minus three means what? Minus one minus two minus three. So a result is a b. Of first one. The first one is a b. And now look at the second one. Is a pointer. Minus minus str. Plus three, minus thirty-two. Minus thirty-two. Now look at this. So pointer minus minus str means what? Become nine ninety-eight decrease by one. But here it is a nine ninety-eight plus three minus thirty-two. Nine ninety-eight plus three means what? Plus one plus two plus three means what? Thousand and one. Thousand and one is a pointer two thousand and one minus thirty two. Pointer two thousand and one. Pointer two thousand and one is what? It's a a. A minus thirty two. We know that ASCII value of a small a minus thirty two will give the ASCII value of capital A. So second second expression result is a a. So first expression result is a small b. Second expression result is a capital A. And next third one, the third one is directly here. We are evaluating. 
is a pointer to plus plus str the value become 999 999 plus 2 plus 4 999 plus 2 means what 1001 1001 pointer plus 4 pointer to 1001 is a a plus 4 a b c d e f plus 4 means what plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so the result is a e so output of this all these three expressions so output is first one is a small b second one is a capital a the third one is a e this is output of this program hope you understood how all these statements get executed so thank you for watching so thank you all Thank you.